Hey Lions, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi the Leo and today we are doing another pick a card reading and this is about who is secretly jealous of you. I did one kind of like this when I first started out my channel um, but one of you actually asked for like an updated version so I thought I would do that for you guys. Um, before I get into the piles, um, I do want to say by the point that this goes up I would have done a post on it too but I will be taking a short break from doing personal readings. So for those of you that's already booked a read and has already emailed me as of today um, in regards to inquiring, you can still book um, readings with me um, because I've already made a note of you guys. But um, beyond that, um, I won't be taking in any more personal readings until further no no ugh, I can't speak until further notice. It'll probably be around the end of December, early January. I'll start them back up again. Um, it's just December is looking like a really busy month and I don't want to burn myself out or not give the best of me you know what i mean so i thought i would just like lay back on them just for around about i'll probably be about three weeks to be honest with you but um i'll let you guys know as soon as they are back up but don't worry like i said if you guys have booked a reading with me or already emailed me um so let's get into this reading uh, this is about who is secretly jealous of you on the low low um so we have four piles in front. I wanted to use these cards. Um, they're called Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Um, they're one of my favourite Oracle cards. And I wanted to use them because normally when I'm talking about people being jealous or shady, I like to use the moon card. But I wanted to use the sun here because it's like we're illuminating, you know? We're catching that energy out. So we have the four piles. This is pile one, two, three, and four. Um, do whatever you guys need to do to get in the zone. As you guys know, these are general readings. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, see which pile you were drawn to at the time. Timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box below. Um, and I will see you guys in your reading. Hey, pal number one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who is secretly jealous of you and why. So as always, I will start with the tarot on the left and then we will move into the oracle cards on the right so we have the five of wands reversed with the star the two of swords with the page of wands we have the seven of cups with the magician the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and the back of the deck we have the lovers straight off i really pick up this energy that this is somebody who would have tried to control you in the past whether you were aware that they were trying to control you or not because the way that they're looking at you is that um i don't even think you know that they felt this way about you in regards to how they perceive you they almost perceive you as above them in the sense that you have a lot that they don't have but it's more of like an internal energy the fact that we have the card aquarius and then we literally have the star you have this aquarius innovative energy about you where you're very unique or at least you do things from um outside the box and i feel like this is somebody that likes to play by the rules they don't necessarily have a lot of um uh what's the word they don't have a lot of courage to jump out and be themselves truly or make things happen for themselves in the way that you do like there's almost an energy with you guys like you've come from nothing and created something or you just have really used your unique talents to create something for you or they see that potential within you but there's just this energy that they fear you being um independent in a way um there's so many different scenarios coming up that i don't want to sit here and say this is an ex-best friend this is an ex because when i first started shuffling the cards i felt like it was an ex best friend um but then i was also picking up like ex-boyfriend or girlfriend vibes but then i was also picking up like family member so just apply what resonates i'll keep going and just see what area that kind of um goes into you know what i mean um but this person 
I really do feel tried to get a hold on you, try to um, mold you into something that they wanted. Um, more so out of like fear that you would leave them. You know what I mean? Because this person, they're quite insecure within themselves. They feel, they feel very like inadequate within themselves. So they try to control people around them. That's their way of feeling confident or feeling um, able, if that makes sense. And they look at you and you, you know, you have this energy of this star card. I feel like you ooze a lot of creativity. You may have a lot of fifth house placements, a lot of Leo in your energy. Um, Because I'm picking up like Leo and Aquarius here mostly. But you ooze a lot of that. You have such a bright energy like that. But they just don't understand it with the five of wands reverse. They almost pick their brains as to how you are like that. But there's almost an energy with this person like they maybe had a bit more than you had growing up. Or they just... I feel like they they may have had a little bit more than you growing up or they just were maybe babied a little bit more or they um there's almost an energy with this person that they were almost like wrapped up in cotton wool in some way um growing up or something like that maybe they were like a mommy's boy if they were um a boy why their mother kind of did everything for them or if they were a female like they um they just had a lot you know they they didn't have to endure a lot that I feel you had to like I feel like you had to go through I'm picking up some Capricorn energy from you guys like you had to go through some experiences maybe in your childhood or something like that but I feel like you're quite connected with spirit like your creativity is connected with spirit you know what I mean like you have a very open mind but I feel like this person's mind is very controlled and very fear-based whereas your mind is very expansive a lot of Jupiter energy here you may have a lot of Sagittarius um in your chat you may have a lot of planets um in the ninth house or something like that like you have a very um expansive energy is what I'm picking up on and they just don't have that and it's not even that they don't have it like i feel like if they looked inward and they looked within themselves that they would be able to express that but there's just this energy um with you where it's just like you are very open to it very reciprocate receptive to spirit that's what i was trying to say and you are able to apply that whereas this person like fears it this person fears um putting their individual individuality out there you know what i mean they don't trust themselves and i just feel like they just don't understand how you are you you know what i mean there's just this energy of you coming across a bit alien like and they don't understand that you are you maybe you guys are into spirituality maybe you guys tarot read um i'm seeing some of you painting some pisces elements here um but they just don't have that they're more practical they were taught to go the more practical route and i really do see them looking at you like how do they have that light and there's this feeling of when they stand next to you like they feel inadequate in some type of way like you shine really bright and the only way that they can make themselves feel better is to try and control you in some way or dim your light in some way by putting you down to make themselves feel a bit brighter um i don't know whether you've cut this person off or not but with the two of swords and the page of wands like it's like this person tries to read you but they can't i feel like you're always on to the next you're always shifting you're always changing maybe you guys have a lot of planets in the eighth house you guys are always shifting and on to something next and they may even try and copy you but they can't replicate it and then there's this energy of when they feel like they've worked you out or they feel like they could maybe manipulate you in some way or feel like they could try and do what you do in some way you're on to the next and they're like oh my god because there's this feeling of somebody trying to grab air you know what i mean you can't grab air <laughs> so there's that type of energy there and i feel like they look at what you're doing a lot i feel like if they're in your life because i feel like if this is a friend they might still be in your life or like a family member they pry at you a little bit they, like they look into what you're doing a little bit for some of you guys like this is someone you haven't spoken to for for a while but they look at your um social media i don't know why i just shared burner accounts so i don't know why they have like a fake account or something maybe you blocked them but i do feel like they look at your social media or at what you're doing and more so to being taken to instagram here like them looking at um what you're up to and how maybe they could worm their way back into your life if this is an ex or someone it's like they're they're looking at your social media to see what you're up to you know what i mean and it's like they're trying to get clues but i feel like you almost have this energy on your social media where you either don't post much or you're quite mysterious um or when they were friends with you or around you they knew that you didn't post a lot 
um, of what was really going on. So they're trying to dig for clues, but they can't really find any. That's what I'm picking up with the two of swords and the page of wands here. Like, they're trying to make their way in. But I feel like you are, there's an energy of you outsmarting them. Like, you seeing what they were on to. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm kind of picking up. Um... You know what I'm actually picking up here with the Seven of Cups and the Magician is this is more than one person in your life. Like, this might be an ex and, like, an ex-best friend or, like, an a ex-best friend or, like, a family member. This is more than one person that has this energy towards you. Because at the end of the day, if you have this star energy, if you have this bright energy, people who are insecure within themselves, they are going to be a bit annoyed. You know what I mean? And when I say annoyed, I mean, like, they're going to feel... When people are insecure, when they see people doing good, or they see people in their, you know, original energy, they do try to tear it down out of fear or out of not being able to understand it and not having that within themselves. And instead of looking within, they may not have those resources to do. Um, it's just coming from an insecurity within them. It's nothing to do with you. And they may try and, like, you know, that, that can trigger them. And I feel like your bright energy, even when people have tried to tear you down, like, you still shine like a star. And that's made people feel some type of way you know what i mean because then that's not giving them the control that they want which is obviously what you want to be doing because you don't want anyone to be controlling you but i really do feel like it's more than it's more than one person and i feel like either recently you've come into some type of abundance like i don't know whether it's like money or um it could just look that way on social media maybe you've you're in a new relationship or maybe there's like new friends or something like that but there's this there's this energy of, um, there's this energy of you looking like you, I don't know whether it's a career, something's blowing up for you that they're looking at and envious of, like, there's almost this energy, like, in the past they try to control you, they try to make out, like, whatever it was that you wanted to do wasn't gonna work, and now that time has passed, what you set out to do has worked, they didn't almost expect it in a way, um, and now they're looking at it and they're really envious. There's that type of energy. They're like, oh, this person's flourishing. Oh, you know, because they wanted to put you in a box. And I don't even feel like this is an energy of someone that... Um, this person doesn't ultimately, like, dislike you. It's not that there's a dislike. It's just envy. And this person's quite insecure within themselves and it brings out that negative side of them. I feel like this person does have a good side of them, but their, their insecurities are what's leading them. And I feel like it's pushing a lot of people away for them, not just you. I feel like a lot of people have been pushed away by this person just by their actions. But I feel like they won't look within and change what's going on there. They won't admit when they're in the wrong. And with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like there is this energy that when they see you do good, they feel like... Ish, which is just not a good energy at all you know what i mean when we have friends when we have people in our life we want to lift them up and when we see them do good we like when i see somebody else do good even if it's in the field that i'm on i feel like hella inspired by them you know what i mean like i'm like wow you did that that means that i can do that thank you for that encouragement like i always look at it like that whereas you know you don't want people around you that are going to see your accomplishments and feel negative feel low about themselves like because then they can project that onto you and try and tear you down and it's like they need to build themselves up you know what i mean i actually read a quote the other day and it was like people from your home to hometown don't clap for you as much as strangers on the internet because they will then have to admit that they came from the same resources as you and didn't push themselves that much it was kind of like that i know there's like other circumstances that can like get in the way of that you know what i mean but there's just this energy of they would have to admit that you are doing really, really good. And do you know what I mean? Like, it, would, it triggers an insecurity and it makes them lash out. It makes them, um, I just see green with envy. It makes them feel very green with envy. It makes them feel inadequate. And I do feel like you may have stepped away from this person, to be honest with you. For some of you guys, this is an ex that was jealous of you with the lover's card. Um, or it could just um, indicate that this is somebody with a lot of Gemini in their energy. Um, I'm also picking up... I feel like you get a lot of attention from, like, love interests. And I feel like they don't. And I feel like they don't like that. I feel like... you. When people first meet you or they get to know you, I feel like you shine. 
and I feel like you don't realize that you shine and it's coming from a place of like there's dominance there but you have this beautiful naivety to you too you're very much mixed with a blend of like divine masculine divine feminine and they try to like there's this energy of them trying to ridicule the divine masculine in a way so that you're not coming across as um powerful in your power there's an energy of them trying to like mock you for things and try and make out that you may be like silly or um not to be taken seriously because they fear your um your strength but i feel like your strength shines through there's just this energy energy of you outsmarting them in some type of way and the fact that we have revenge and then control underneath like this person tried to control you you know this person tried to control you but i think you didn't even realize it you were too busy seeing the light in them and they just they thought they were doing one over on you and really you were just spiritually protected and were able to see through it because even though you are big heart and have this beautiful light energy you're not stupid and i feel like i have an instagram picture on my instagram and i caught it underneath um oh what was the code i i posted a selfie and i said um oh oh my god please it was something like it was silly of you to mistake me for one of the sheep and then i used the wolf emoji because i had a friend like this who would um try and act like i was very dumb on my spirituality you know she used to act like i was crazy and mock me and put me down a lot because of where i came from and how i grew up because she grew up quite you know well off and i did not and i went through a lot so she deemed me as like beneath her and i like had posted that because she was looking at my social media at the time and i posted that quote and that's like what they're showing me with this so I think what they're telling me to say is like this person thought that you were just gonna like follow the herd and that they'd be able to do one over you they it's funny because they see your potential but they thought they'd be able to because you're so loving they thought that they'd be able to mind play you and have you shrink yourself for them and i feel like you didn't i feel like you stepped away and this caused a lot of like what the f type of energy they're like what on earth is this person doing and then what they feared was that you would then step into your own flourish like a butterfly and become very assertive and create something from yourself out of what they couldn't achieve and the fact that we literally have aquarius independence and then we have the child orphan independence based on learning to go it alone conquering fear of surviving like i feel like since you've known them or since you were around them a lot you have literally grown from a caterpillar with a lot of potential to this beautiful big butterfly and i feel like they do see that and i feel like they're very very intimidated by you now it's like it's almost i wouldn't say it's like a problem for them but they're very intimidated by you from you by now and it's almost like i don't even know whether they would even try and step towards you at this point because they they may even try i would keep an eye out because they may even try to worm their way back in at one point or try and find out like some dirt on you or whatever but the thing is is that energy doesn't lie and i feel like you put out such a bright energy that even if they were to try and find something out about you or say speak some dirt on you energy doesn't lie people will see you meet you and see for yourself who you are and see them and meet them and see for themselves because i don't feel like this person's just done this to you i feel like they've done it to other people too but you are like really this aquarius energy this star energy you're creative you're it, it it's just like they they pride themselves on being the best they pride themselves on being um on top they pride themselves on it's quite a prody like energy it's quite a um um this person seems very like they put down others for what they don't have even though this person hasn't had to work so much for what they have i'm seeing um and when i say work so much i mean there's not been a lot of barriers in front of them they've always had some sense of security within their life whereas i feel like you have not and they look down on people who haven't had what they've had it that's the energy that i'm picking up here it seems very similar to my situation but there's some differences here because i do feel like for some of you guys it's an ex 
it's an ex that was a little bit controlling knew that you were this bright energy and didn't want you to leave them you know what i mean they'd fear that you would get too bright and leave them um so we're trying like put you down into a box and i'm also seeing it's like family members too like this may be family members who saw you shining bright and was like no 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 don't do it like that don't do it like that even though they saw the prosperity that your light could bring they were like no 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 don't do that and they tried to put you in a box or they were just envious that it was you getting this attention because there's this energy here of like um oh how can i explain it like people underestimated you even though they saw this brightness in you they underestimated you um and they almost tried to keep you in that box just in case but you like shot out of that box turned into this butterfly and just embraced these big unique wings and just became you know this confident independent person the fact that we have independence twice like you became that and everybody that tried to control you it's like mm, you know there's more envy there then um I just feel like you were no match for them. You know what I mean? You were no match for them. And it's funny, like I said, you broke out of the box. Because the back of the deck of the goddess cards, guys, we literally have Kali liberation. So I really do see you challenge people's egos completely. Because you know what Kali does. You know what I mean? Kali shoots down those egos. And um, I really feel like you did that. But you did it effortlessly. You didn't even make it a point to do it. You were just you. That's power. You know what I mean? Like, it was just you. And I feel like you really liberated yourself from a lot of people's opinions. And the fact that at the back of this deck is what we had status. Like, a lot of the people that did this uh, were jealous of you in that way. They're, they care for st status. They care for how people look at them. Which is funny because you don't. Like, you don't. You're just like, I'm me. I'm living for me. One, they don't like that you think like that. But two, within you just doing you, you have a lot of people that do admire you. And they don't like that. Because they don't feel like they get the following that they want. Because they push people away. And it's funny that the other two cards at the back of the deck were King and the Sun. The Sun rules the ego. And like I said, that's Leo energy. I saw Leo and Aquarius energy. You shine bright. You know what I mean? You shine very, very bright. Very confident with a really warm heart. And with the King card as well. Enlightened. Um, bene oh my God, I don't want to say that. Benevolent, that's it. Benevolent um, leadership. Benefiting those in your charge. I feel like you're in control or something. Or you have the ability to be in control of um some type of career or some type of business that you may be going towards i do see entrepreneurship and you know that type of energy within you and i feel like you've had to work through these type of people um because you're on some sort of like inner journey to build yourself up and not let people like that get to you and i really do feel like in the past you may not have wanted to speak up even though you saw what was going on and you felt that energy because you wanted to see the light in people and i feel like you've been learning to put in your boundaries and not let people talk you down and stand in your power and i feel like a lot of people are a bit peed about that you know what i mean like but it's more so like the, just the jealous people that you have to leave behind you know what i mean i feel like you move on a lot and you have to leave people behind and now they're stuck in the dirt like mm, you know that's the type of energy here um yeah so that is actually all i'm getting for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed that i'm sending you guys lots and lots of love um i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching okay card number two welcome to your reading so we are currently taking a look at who is secretly jealous of you and why so i'm gonna start on the left with your tarot and then we will move on to the oracles on the right so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the World, the Hanged Man in Reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, Death and the Page of Swords. And the back of the deck, guys, we have the Empress card. Straight away, guys, remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates. I really do feel like this is an energy of someone who may work with you um, or somebody that may um work in the same field as you you know what i mean you both may have a passion and this person has the same passion as you or has the same goals that you have there's an energy of work here there's an energy of being around each other and striving for something here um and it does not even have to be that way you know you can apply it to whatever is really resonating it could just be like 
the way you come across in life you know what i mean you may have the same goals of what you want to achieve um it could be that type of energy the way the energy that's coming up here have you guys ever watched bride wars i don't know whether you guys have watched bride wars i know anna hathaway's in it i think it's kate hudson i'm not sure and they're two friends and they both want this wedding but then um they find out that they booked it on the same day and then they're competing on who has the best wedding like it's kind of that energy but i don't feel like this person's that close to you like i don't feel like this is like a super like close friend this is somebody that knows of you and is either like a co-worker or um an acquaintance of some sort or just like a friend but not somebody that knows a lot about you you know what i mean and with the seven with not the seven with the eight of pentacles and the ace of swords what i'm really picking up here is they're jealous of your um they're jealous of your drive they're jealous of your kind of go get an energy i do feel like i'm i'm being shown aries um so it could be that you have aries sun moon rising or you just exude that kind of aries energy where you're just like you'll go full full steam ahead you know you'll work 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 and you come up with these really great ideas um these really unique ways of getting things done um you put a lot of effort into it, what it is that you do and i almost feel like this person um doesn't have that same drive or passion that you have like they want it but i don't feel like they want to put in a lot of that work you know what i mean because it's funny because they're showing me like it's like the hair on the tortoise but it, it, instead of like the hair being the bad guy like they show me the story where the hair is actually the good guy because he's he's not tiring out you know what i mean he's not getting cocky like because i don't feel like you feel cocky about it you know you're just running towards the 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 finish line and i just feel like this person they could put in the effort that you do but they just it's this energy of they don't want to put in the energy that you do or they feel they may not have the same kind of qual qualifications as you or the same knowledge as you um so they don't quite um how can i explain they don't quite get this ace of swords energy this um the results they don't get the results that you get I hope this is making sense. I'll get into it, guys. But with the Queen of Wands, this is coming through as a passion card. So you may be a Leo, Sagittarius, or, um, again, Aries. Like, there's just this energy of you having a lot of passion, a lot of getting things done. You know what I mean? You don't leave any stone unturned. And you just kind of, like, move towards your goals. Like, you think you're very business-minded in the sense that you... Um, you know what you're doing and things seem to work for you but it's just because i don't think this person sees the amount of graft that you put in behind closed doors and i feel like this person's trying to get the same results as you but with less graft you know what i mean and that's just not gonna work and with the world card here like i feel like they're seeing a lot of the finished product but not necessarily what you did behind the scenes i feel like you've worked really hard i'm seeing qualifications here i'm seeing a lot of like work and sleepless nights you're really putting in work and this person's kind of seeing that wanting to do what you do but they're only putting a quarter of it in they haven't done all of that you've done so they want the fruition without actually putting the work in i'm sure i had a similar type of energy like this on one of my other cards it wasn't the jealousy pick a card it was something else um it might have been the enemies reading i'm not quite sure but there's a kind of an energy like that and with the hanged man reverse and the nine of pentacles i do feel like you know something that this person doesn't so i don't know whether you have some sort of qualification or maybe you've been promoted in work or something like that and this person doesn't like it but there's something that this person wants to do that you're already doing um and they don't necessarily have the knowledge but what i'm actually picking it up here it's not even necessarily like um uh, a qualification of some sort for some of you guys it may be but it's more so just like knowledge like and it's not knowledge that you can necessarily attain this is like soul knowledge or knowledge that you like wisdom that you've gained throughout your life or wisdom that your soul already knows you can't read that in a book no matter how many books you read you gain it by experience and i feel like you've had a lot of experiences and i just feel like not that this person's inadequate because they're not you know what i mean this person isn't inadequate at all they just um instead of looking at their own unique abilities and how they could use their um their own how can i explain it their own treasures to be their unique self and win they are looking at you as competition thinking that they're inadequate and then wanting what you have that's not going to push you forward whereas they feel like you're very focused on yourself you know what i mean and there's just some sort of wisdom that you have that you speak that they try to mimic because i'm hearing this they try to mimic but they 
it, it doesn't work because they have their own wisdom but they're not speaking their own wisdom they're looking at other people and how they can gain that you know what i mean or even if it's just like you know like a work job you just have that way of doing things that they don't and they're like well how does this person get these things done how is this person so quick at what they do how do they do this even if it's just like a friend in competition in regards to anything in life like just they want what you have maybe you both want a particular car maybe you both want a particular you know scenario like family or whatever and it's like it seems to be working out more for you than them they feel but it's because you're focused on yourself and they're focusing on you and you have your own unique way of doing things and they're like mm, why didn't i think of that and it's like well you have your own thing to think about but they're, they're not looking at what they can do to better their situation they're looking at you you know more so this is coming through in a creative field or a work field but it could literally guys be applied to just like life in general you two having the same sort of um you two having the same sort of goal and them just being quite jealous that you are kind of succeeding because you're coming through here as the nine of pentacles but like i said they're looking at the fruition they're not looking at what you have to do to get you you know and i really do see like they see times of like the tides are turning for you with the death card they see the page of swords energy like you are they almost feel like you're always on game you're always one step ahead and every time they try to mimic you or every time they try to catch up you're one step ahead again and they're just like, damn. And it's just like, nothing's a competition. You know what I mean? Nothing is a competition at all. We all have our own unique abilities. It's like, so now two people want to be a horse rider. You know what I mean? It's like, there's two different, I mean, I don't know much about horse riding, but maybe that was a really bad example. <laughs> but it's just this energy of like, the what Spirit trying to tell me is two people can exist in one field and have their own unique way of doing it that's really what i'm saying you know what i mean like all 12 zodiac signs astrology signs are signs but they're all unique to themselves i know people have their favorites but nothing's better than the other you know what i mean for example somebody's favorite could be a taurus that doesn't mean that the aquarius is not good you know what i mean because some people's favorites are aquarius i hope this makes sense this is how spirit are trying to explain like uh, about their energy like they Two people can exist in one field. It doesn't mean that the other one's bad. You know what I mean? But when somebody starts to look at the other person and wonder why they haven't got those ideas, that's when they're kind of selling their soul in a way. You know what I mean? Um, and not respecting themselves to put that energy out there. You know, maybe it's from insecurities. Maybe they just don't feel good enough. But it's just like, this is a lesson that they're going to have to learn to look within and step out as who they truly are and not try and take from other people or wonder why they haven't got what other people have. Because we have the Empress at the back of the deck. They see you as the Empress. They see you as being very abundant. But like I say, like, yeah, okay, the Empress has all these flowers and um, grass and everything around her, but she had to plant those seeds. They didn't just grow. You know what I mean? She had to plant those seeds. She wasn't looking at anybody else. She was focusing on harvesting her own crops. You know what I mean? And with speculation, I do feel like this person spies on you quite a bit, like, looks at what you're doing, looks into how you're moving about, um, looks into your way of doing things. I feel like they try to study how you act, how you apply yourself, they try to mimic it. I'm almost hearing words being stolen, so maybe the way you speak, they may be taking it. Um, there's that type of energy here um they try to but i feel like they don't just do it to you like i i feel like you're not the only person that they do this to i feel like they do it to other people um but with you especially like you just have this really bright light that they it's not that they don't like you they just want a part of it because they don't feel secure within themselves you know what i mean and they're jealous of your drive and how you're able to do that on your own and with order as well again guys this is coming through with some sort of project that you're working on here um, with the moon in Virgo, like, the fact that all of seeds are being sown, like, you're see sowing your seeds, but it's like, you're here planting all your plants and everything, whereas this person is just looking at what you're doing, you know what I mean? And you know what I find funny? You're coming through as the Nine of Pentacles here, and you see how she's just happy in her own energy, just like, um, 
with the bird on her hand looking like Snow White. Well, she doesn't look like Snow White, but you know what I mean. Like, she's all happy and prosperous. But then we have the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is looking to what she has. So this person has their own unique abilities that they could move forward with, but they're too focused looking at your pentacles instead of um, actually creating the harvest for themselves. You know what I mean? Like, the harvest is right here, <laughs> but they're focused on what you've got. You know what I mean? And that's what's holding them back. And the more that they get held back, the more that they... Um, feel like they're lacking and then look towards you with jealousy and the fact that we have ambition here like they really do feel um they really do feel i'm not i don't want to say that they're lazy it's not that they're lazy it's just that they want more than they want to work for is the energy that's coming through whereas you've really put in the graft and the fact that three and nine adds up to 12 that um narrows down to three three is a very creative energy so again they're jealous of your creativity and how you apply yourself and how you move about you know and with the gambler card as well um willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you yeah there's this energy like you are coming through as the gambler you are somebody that takes chances you are somebody that just kind of like moves forward you don't really care for what other people might be saying like you just have that type of energy and you know how she has the or he has the um blindfold over his eyes the energy's coming through you know that saying um i walk with faith not by sight um, I feel like that's you, you know, you walk with the universe, you walk by faith, you take these risks because you believe in yourself. And I feel like this person does not. It's like they want their, let me get that to focus, they want their um, fruition, but they're not trusting in themselves to take these leaps the way that you take these leaps. And the final card as well, guys, we have the seventh house. This has really taken me to like partnerships, but it's coming through as work, partnerships and business. The seventh house isn't always just about marriage. It can be about partnerships with other people and co-workers and, you know, business partners and things like that. And I just really feel like that's what this is, a business partner or a work colleague or a friend in your life that wants the same outcome that um you do but they're looking at you you know what i mean and the back of these cards as well like we have capricorn literally at the back of the deck like i literally feel like this is you i feel like you've really put in the work because one thing about capricorns is they'll put in that work you know what i mean and i do feel like you have some capricornian energy somewhere um within you and you really really work really hard to get to this point you know what i mean you really really do work really hard to get the results that you get and then we have fortune like like i said with the nine of pentacles this person really does see you as somebody that's very fortunate but they're not seeing the hard labor that you had to work to get that you know and they just aren't putting in that work and then the back of the cards here guys we have king again this was the back of the deck of the last um pile and i shuffled them well so this has come up again um i really do feel like you have this with the sun um in the background and the stars like i just really do feel like you come across as this king energy you come across as somebody that really can lead like you have those qualities to you and i just feel like a lot of people look up to you as well you know what i mean a lot of people look up to you um i don't know whether this other person may be in it for a little bit of the status i don't feel that you are i feel you're in here just to create and just live your most authentic self but i feel like this person more so wants status they want to be seen as something and i feel like it's coming from an insecurity within them and that's just blocking them you know um and then we have negotiation here let me get that to focus we have negotiation here as well um let's hide that <laughs> but what i'm really seeing here is especially with the sun on the right and then the moon on the left like i feel like you were very at the forefront because you you work so hard or you just have your own unique way of doing things that gets you a little bit more exposure um and this person feels next to you like the moon you know what i mean more in the dark and i feel like they're trying to take pieces of your light to pass off as their own or trying to be like you when it's just like that lights within them they just need to understand that you know and i don't feel like this person is necessarily a bad person at all i just feel like they um they just deal with insecurities that they need to work on you know what i mean they they deal with um they definitely need to put some more drive in you know what I mean? I feel like if they put some more drive in, then they'd get to where they want to be. But I don't even think it's even more so drive. I think it's more their insecurities that may be holding them back. If they took their eyes off you for a sec and put their eyes on themselves, 
they find themselves zooming ahead you know um yeah so that is all i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed that um i'm sending you guys lots of love um and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching okay panel material welcome to your reading so we are currently taking a look at who is secretly jealous of you and why so i'm going to start on the left with your tarot cards and then we will move on to the right with your oracle cards so you guys have the five of pentacles and the lovers you have the two of swords in reverse and the knight of swords you have the hierophant and strength and you also have the ace of wands with the tower reversed and the back of the deck guys we have the moon so straight up this is coming through quite strong like it's not so much that somebody's jealous of you it's more so like they're jealous over you that's how it's actually come through here um this is feeling like some sort of x now it could allude also to um it could allude also to the person that you're with's ex being jealous over you being the new person but for the majority of you guys it is coming through of an ex that is kind of feeling the weight of you not being around and wondering who you're spending your time with and what you're up to like they can see you flourishing and they're like feeling very lost and out in the cold like there's an energy coming through it could even be a friend you guys i'm picking up more so relationship because of the lover's card but it could even be a friend that you left out in the cold but more so guys is coming from like a romantic connection or a relationship that you've decided to put a boundary in and step away from and i really do feel the energy is coming through here like you haven't been in contact for a little while like there's been a few months um like two no like one to six months maybe or even longer but this person really is feeling the weight of you not being in their life now i feel like when this connection maybe first broke down i don't feel like they um i feel like they were just on some bs you know what i mean like i feel like they were just on some filling up their void with things but now those things have started to get boring and it's like now they're actually feeling this weight of you not being there and they're like oh there's nothing really that i can put in my energy field to replace that like i really miss this person so this person is really missing you and with the two of swords being reversed this is talking about clarity like this person is having a lot of clarity over um this person's having a lot of clarity over the connection and why things happened and feeling quite apologetic and feeling like oh like i kind of need you or i really want you i really you added a lot to my life like they're really seeing your worth now but the question is why didn't they see it before you know what i mean i feel like something happened where there was an argument or boundaries happened and now they're actually seeing like oh my god i actually they're, they're realizing the error in their ways is what i'm being told and they're wanting to step towards you with this knight of swords they may even already be trying to slide in those dms be messaging you they may even be trying to do that to come back but if they're not i do feel it won't be long until they do because this is really being indicated that they will um this is being indicated that they will i don't know whether something went down in the summer um, they're taking me to the summer in June. I don't know whether something went down summertime or um, maybe one of you guys' birthdays in the summer. But they're taking me to like June for some reason. Um, but there's just this energy of them really stepping towards you and wanting you back. Um, I'm hearing that song. I oh, One of you guys actually commented what the song was in a reading before. You know the song is like, I want you back. I want you back like that song like i can't remember the name of it now guys but that song's being played so i feel like this person wants to come back into your life if this isn't resonating guys and you are in a relationship then i it could be that they're jealous of this new relationship but it could be that your partner's ex is looking at you progressing with this person and wanting you know to come back into this person's life but it's more so i'm gonna go with your overall energy here it is more so coming through as someone from your past um wanting to come back basically and with a higher front and strength like they have done some actual inner work this is something that i'm going to say this person's actually done some inner work and worked on themselves i don't know whether they've been single for some time or they've really just had like a come to jesus moment like they've had um a kind of epiphany almost and they're really seeing you in a new light 
You know what I mean? They're seeing you as someone with a lot of value with a strength card. Um, God, these prayers are noisy. They're seeing you as somebody that has a lot of value, has a lot of... Um, they feel like it's a soulmate connection. They feel like it's a divine connection. They feel like that. You know what I mean? And they really do want to step towards you. But with the Ace of Wands and the Tower reversed, this person's not willing to admit that this situation's over. I do even feel when you guys stop speaking for whatever the reason, they um they had in mind like I'm gonna play about and then I'll come back. Um or they may have said something like that. And I feel like in their mind, they always thought about coming back. But now that you've put boundaries in and you've moved on and you're looking good and they're seeing you out here, you know what I mean? They're like, it's just, they've had this epiphany and now they're just like, no, 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 this isn't over. You know what I mean? We have unfinished business. There's no way this person's going to move on. Like, I want to be with this person. They're still seeing you as theirs. In a way, like, there's this energy coming through as, like, that's my person. I don't want anybody else with my person. And I do feel like they're wishing and manifesting um, for you to come back into their life. You know what I mean? Like, they're looking for the right way to come back. They're thinking about it a lot. I'm actually hearing they daydream about you a lot. Like, I feel like you were one of their very few significant connections. And if you guys weren't in, like, a full relationship, then you were somebody out of the very, like... Out of the people that they've spoken to or been texting or had a situation with, you were one of the very few real ones. And now that they've kind of elevated and realised they don't want to be doing this F shit anymore, they've kind of like, they want you back. You know what I mean? Because they said they see that you bring a lot to the table. And with the escape card, they feel like you've... I'm hearing um, the Katy Perry song, um, the one that got away. Do you remember that? It was out like ages ago. Um, but I'm hearing that the one that got away, like they feel like you've kind of escaped their grasp in some type of way. I don't see it like being a controlling energy. Obviously, you guys know this connection, so um, it could be that. But I don't feel like it's in a very like controlling energy. Now we've got a loud helicopter. I don't know what's going on, guys, but literally we rarely ever get like helicopters and planes um, unless there's a rescue in the ocean because there's like a harbor right like by me, like I live by the ocean. But lately, oh my god, that is so low. Lately, there's just like hundreds of aeroplanes, like low down aeroplanes and helicopters. I'm not gonna keep speaking, guys, until it's gone. Yeah, lately, there's loads of aeroplanes and helicopters going above and they're so low down. I was on the beach the other day and it was basically on the floor. It was insane. Are you done? Okay, I think it's gone. Oh my god, that is so low. I can see it now that is so low um sorry for that guys so yeah they feel like you've almost escaped them in some way i don't feel like it's a negative energy like oh my god this person has like you know they were trying to control you and you've just escaped their wrath or whatever like they just feel like you've slipped through their fingers and now they're feeling quite foolish about it and i really do feel with the endurance card here like they're willing to fight for you i feel like they want to come back and fight for you because there's this energy of them wanting to fight off potential suitors for you like they don't want anyone around you like that's what i'm picking up from this card you know what i mean like they want to fight off anyone that <laughs> i'm hearing they're looking at like who's liking maybe your photos or something like that or seeing some flirty comments maybe or hearing through the grapevine you may have been on dates and they're like nah you know what i mean it's like they're will it's bit that ego is getting a bit mm, nah like you know that's mine like they still have that kind of energy um towards you like they haven't let go the tower card in reverse talks about endings that are being resisted and i feel like this person's resisting that ending with you like they want you back and the fact that we have the aphrodite card like romantic love like this person still has romantic feelings towards you i feel like they feel quite um sexual towards you like they find you very sexually attractive and it's funny, like, this whole reading was supposed to be, like, who's jealous of you, but instead it's this energy, this person's completely taken over the reading, <laughs> in the sense of, like, I'm jealous over them, though, you know what I mean? Like, so it's still in that element of jealousy, but it's, like, they're jealous over you, not jealous about you, you know what I mean? Um, Because they recognise your catch. Like, there's this energy within them, like, damn, they could actually have anything, anyone that they wanted, like, I'm gonna have to, like, knuckle down here, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to that's why they're ready for this <laughs> you know what i mean like i've never interpreted it that way before but that's how the energy is coming through here like they're ready to fight off anyone who 
um steps towards you because in their eyes you're still theirs you know what i mean and with the child um divine card innocence purity and redemption um suggests suggests a special connection with the divine when i look at redemption the song that's actually playing is drake's song redemption um it's on his album views um i think he sings redemptions on your mind when you think about me like there's just this energy like they know that they did wrong they know that they effed up they know that they didn't you know they may have played the, played the field, field a little bit or they just weren't doing what they should have to honor you and they're aware of it and it's just like they they want to come back and they want a second chance and obviously guys it's up to you if you give them that but um they see you as very innocent very pure very um connected to your divine feminine um very beautiful very create creative very handsome you know what i mean just very connected and the fact that we have the 12th house as well like i you guys may be quite spiritual i almost feel like i get fairy vibes from you <laughs> like the energy that i'm picking up from you guys is like you have fierceness to you but it's in a very soft way like it's a very like fairy way you know like jenny i go she's very fairy like you look at like um tanashi she's still quite fierce but she's quite fairy like selena gomez is quite fairy like but she'll say what she needs to say if she needs to like that's the energy that i'm picking up from you you have a very graceful selena gomez jenny aiko presence um a lot of you do or at least they view you like that they see you very serene and divine feminine even if you guys are a male watching this they see you as very handsome and very graceful you know and i it wouldn't shock me i'm actually hearing with the 12th house they do dream like i said they daydream about you but they also like dream about you too um and the fact that we have the moon card here too like they definitely are in their feels about you and they do dream about you they do think about you um it may have actually been them walking away from you and now realizing what they lost because I'm hearing the Tanache song Hopscotch and she sings the lyric, um, you switch on me, you're never going to get back what you lost. Um, and I'm hearing that. So I feel like you may have that attitude kind of like, well, you did me dirty. You, you know, you switched up on me. That's it. And now they're jealous because it's like, I don't want anybody else to have this person. Like, I still see this person as mine. They've completely taken over this reading. So the fact that we have time, guys, I really do feel like it has been some time since you've spoken. I'm getting the back of the deck cards, by the way. I'll put the moon there, seeing as we're doing the back of the deck cards. Um, I feel like it has been some time since um, you've spoken, to be honest with you. And I feel like now that the time's passed, it's really evident to them what they've lost you know what i mean the three could be significant here guys um you may haven't spoken for like three months or maybe you'll hear from them in three months three weeks um something like that maybe in march um and then we have publicity here i don't know whether you guys have like a youtube channel or you're well known on social media or you just kind of come across like well liked like a lot of people like you and this little thing here it always reminds me of i don't know whether you guys had computers back in the old days where oh my god i sound old and i back in the old days but they had that windows kind of logo and they had those four colors on it that always reminds me of that and it takes me to the internet and i just kind of feel like um I just kind of feel this energy like you you have a really good presence on social media a lot of people like you on social media a lot of people may follow you and I feel like they watch your social media with that energy like they look at your social media a lot and to signify that this definitely is a romantic connection guys the back of the deck here we had love a card you know what I mean great passion and devotion um um unbridled appreciation of someone or something yeah i really do feel like they're really that's how they're, this you see this lady holding that hat that's kind of how they're feeling towards you right now they're in their feels um that's how they're feeling towards you right now they're feeling quite crushy towards you right now and i don't feel like they're usually that type I don't feel like they're usually quite like that um and then we have the second house so they're really seeing your value now you know what i mean they're seeing your value they're seeing you as somebody that they should have appreciated they're seeing you as somebody that is worth a lot and they're wanting to really treat you that way now you know what i mean um to the point that they've literally taken over this whole reading because <laughs> they are jealous over you you know what i mean that's the energy coming through um so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading um hit a thumbs up if you did and comment down below if it resonated um i'm sending you guys lots of love and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey panel number four welcome to your reading so we are currently taking a look at 
who is jealous of you and why so i'm going to start with your tarot cards on the left and then we will move into the oracle cards on your right so we have the seven of pentacles with the five of cups the page of cups the four of wands the queen of cups the wheel of fortune the page of wands and the three of pentacles in reverse and the back of the deck you guys we have the knight of cups here so with that being said the energy that i'm picking up here it's kind of a little bit similar to pile number three but pile number three was more romantic connection and i feel like with this this is coming there was like an ex friend i don't feel like this person's in your life right now i feel like this is somebody that you would have cut off um in the past i don't know whether it was like um a really close friendship or whether they were just in your circle but they were close enough for you to have some sort of impact on them um i feel like they weren't that good of a friend to you or there was some type of um issue with you guys like i'm not really picking up on what it was this i'm more being shown to like bulls like button heads you know what i mean like two rams button heads so um that's kind of indicating to me that there would have been some type of altercation or argument or something like that and with the seven of pentacles and the five of cups here like i'm actually seeing this person's actually feeling quite nostalgic about this situation with the seven of pentacles here like i'm actually being shown somebody looking at snapchat memories so i don't know what that's about maybe they're looking at old memories of you guys or maybe just thinking back to old memories and they're actually crying over spilt milk right now like they're actually thinking about the past right now and what went on and i actually do feel like they're looking at your social media a lot i don't know whether like you've got new friends now or it just looks like you're having some type of like fun right now and they kind of feel like not the best and they're kind of looking at you like mm, they seem to be doing a lot better than me you know what i mean there's that type of energy and i just feel like it's making them quite jealous like they you know when you argue with somebody and you want to be in the right and even though you know sometimes we can get a little bit petty and we don't exactly want the other person to be doing amazing because then we're like oh you know we don't want to see them doing amazing without us sometimes sometimes our, our ego can make us feel like that this is this person's energy like they kind of just feel like mm, this person's doing really good like and it's making them a bit envious and they're jealous because i feel like you flourish so you've set up something for yourself that they have not and it's almost like oh you know what i mean and i'm not there i'm not part of that you know what i'm here yeah you know what i mean and i'm hearing like they're jealous that they're not in that era of your life i'm hearing the keilani song you should be here um they kind of feel like that they're envious of where you're at right now when they feel like they should be there with you you know what i mean i don't know whether you've come into some sort of victory or you've just based you created something and i just feel like they're not in your life right now and it's just like oh or you could have been like working on something that they didn't even know about and it's kind of like a shock to them like that you've built that up and they're seeing you winning now and they're like oh you know but with the queen of cups here they're definitely in their feelings they're definitely thinking about you and i actually feel like they're thinking about maybe stepping towards you or there may be a reconciliation in the future this is not coming through as like um like pile number one and two is like oh this person's like jealous but it's not coming through so much here it's just more like this person's jealous um of how much you've achieved without them you know what i mean like i wanted to be there with them i wanted to be riding on that wave with them and now i'm not and it's just like it could be a family member to you guys it's not so coming like it could be a relationship but it's not so coming through much as a relationship i feel like in pile three it was more relationship -y. you may have been drawn to that but in this one it's coming through more as a friendship um and it's just kind of like I feel like you would have been friends for some time to be honest with you because it's not coming through as like f them like they may have it may have started that way but now the time has gone on they're just kind of like oh like i i i didn't expect to be feeling this way and now this person's just thriving here i am and i really do feel with the page of ones and the three of pentacles in the reverse like this person's definitely looking at your social media quite often and they're feeling quite lonely because the three of pentacles in reverse talks about isolation talks about wanting to go it on your like your own and i don't know whether like you decided to go on your own and left them behind and maybe that's what they're feeling a bit sad about because I've had people like that in my life guys where I've just kind of had to move on because I've like shifted in vibration and just kind of had to move on and people have had the like a bit of a problem with me sometimes for that because I'm always like wandering about and it may be that same scenario for you guys where you decided to be on your own and now this person's like oh oh you know what I mean and kind of look into your social media like oh um 
but then there's this, also this energy that you may have a lot of people around you friends around you and they're more so isolated and feeling like oh well look what they're up to you know what i mean i'm actually seeing you know that funny meme and it's like a cat and he's looking over a wall and he's like what are they doing over there like i don't know whether you guys have seen that meme that's the energy that's coming through with the page of wands like i think i feel like they see you or hear that you're doing good or having a good time or just like flourishing but there's an insecurity within them that's kind of like well obviously they didn't meet, need me then it's like making them feel a little bit inadequate and maybe play on some sort of abandonment issues that they have to be honest with you um but that's on them you know what i mean you can't help that you've got to keep moving forward you've got to keep pushing forward you can't help that people would be feeling that way but with the drama card i don't know whether you guys may be splitting off and moving away from them may have caused drama within themselves like they may have caused drama because of it or whether there was a genuine argument which is why you split i'm seeing two different scenarios but i really do feel like there was a bit of a argument or some misunderstanding that happened between um the two of you where there may have been shouting or just like words said um with the lion like roaring here like that's the kind of energy that i'm uh that i'm kind of picking up on and with indecision as well i just feel like um this person wants to step back to you but then they don't you know what i mean like this person they don't want to admit that they're not doing as well you know what i mean they don't want to admit that it was their insecurities that caused them to feel some type of way they don't want to admit that and it's like it's almost preventing them from moving forward with their life because they keep thinking back to the situation and what happened between you and them and it's preventing them from moving forward with their life um because there's the energy that i'm being made to feel because i'm feeling this person's energy and it's a funny feeling but it's just kind of like the way i'm feeling is i feel um jealous that this person has moved on and found new friends and i'm not no longer the person that um they confide in anymore and i'm not that person that they look to anymore and they're off flourishing um and it almost makes me feel inadequate that's the energy i'm feeling they're actually taking me to you know kylie jenner and jordan woods and then jordan woods stopped hanging on the kardashians because of that whole fiasco and now she's out here flourishing living her best life we can only imagine kylie probably feels some type of way about that i've actually watched psychic readings on that and um i've heard she feels some type of way about it and that's the energy that it's coming here you know what i mean they see you flourishing and they're like oh okay you know it's like well i want to be there how come you know they have all these friends now like where have they even come from like that's how i'm feeling when i'm tapping into this energy and with the mediator as well like i do feel like this person does want a reconciliation especially when it's look it's like literally on top of the past card like the past and seven and three obviously adds up to ten and ten is like an ending you know what i mean whenever i see ten ten like it's the ending of something and it's like they're almost like looking at how it ended how it happened they're not like moving on they're looking to the past um quite often to be honest with you like i feel like they are really looking at, at your social media to see what you're up to there really is this energy and it wouldn't actually shock me with this night of caps if they did step towards you with some sort of an apology or wanting to become back friends with you to be honest like it wouldn't shock me with the night of caps at the back of the deck like that would not shock me at all and then we have uranus like um I just really do feel like when you guys argue like it wasn't expected like I feel like they didn't expect you to maybe go off on your own or they didn't expect an argument to happen they didn't expect you to step away it's like they're almost like they're, they I feel like they bury their emotions down their insecurities down and then it like rises to the surface very unexpectedly and then blows up and then they feel these feelings and they're like oh they didn't expect to but it's almost like there's an energy of they didn't expect you to flourish as much as you did or be doing as good as you are there's that type of energy and it's jealousy it's not that they want you to be doing bad at all like that's not coming through at all here they don't want to see you doing bad but they um it hurts them to be seeing you doing good without them that's how i can explain it it could even be like a long-term relationship that you were in and it's coming through more as a friend because you you know when you're in a relationship for a long time they're like your best friend you know what i mean so it could be that as well that i'm picking up on but um 
more friendly energy share so we then have health I'm, I'm picking the back of the cards guys let's put the knight of cups there because um that's the back of the deck there and in the back of the deck of the radiant sun cards we have health i really don't feel like this person isn't feeling their best like i just don't feel like they're um feeling very good right now like they're just it's not anything too negative or something to worry about they're just not feeling like the sun up here you know what i mean they're lacking to find clarity within this situation and i feel like with the virgo energy here like especially virgo suns i always find with virgo suns like they overthink a lot they their minds just like boom 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 they think a lot and they create scenarios that aren't even there sometimes like i find that that can happen sometimes with virgo energy especially when it's in the sun place one and i feel like that energy sure you know what i mean like they worry there's a there's a worry and energy they might have even like had you step away from them and then created a drama out of nothing because of their insecurities because their mind can overthink it um and the next card that we have guys is home um but the thing is is that the home came out in reverse so this could actually be a family member that sees you stepping away and doing good without them could even be a parent or some sort or something like that i'm picking up more like a sibling or like a cousin or auntie or something like that like that's coming through you with a home reverse like you may have moved out you're doing good and this person just feels like well I'm hearing the donkey, you know donkey from Shrek, and he sings, I'm all alone, you know that song, and he's like singing it, um, when he sings outside of Shrek's swamp to try and come in, that's what I'm hearing, that's what Spirit is showing me to explain how they're feeling, like, I don't know whether you've moved out or something like that, like, it's something to do with that, this person felt like a family member or, um, something like that. I do feel like you were good friends with this person, to be honest with you, or just really close family, or they were someone that you had a lot in your life, you know what I mean? They saw you through a lot, um, and they didn't expect you to then move on, but, like, at the end of the day, like, nothing's ours in life. Life's always ever-changing, you can't hold on to things, you know what I mean? Um, so the next back of the deck energy we have, guys, is, um... I have no idea how to say the top word, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um, but it says here, delights in the art without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. So maybe that you're like traveling for work or you're like um, working really hard right now. And that's why maybe you're not seeing them and maybe they felt like they weren't being prioritized and there was an argument. There's something that you're working on right now and growing from the ground up it could even just be yourself you know what I mean it could be like you put in boundaries with a friend you know you now have a bedtime you don't want to be up out late anymore and they're still doing that type of stuff and you're like no and they maybe cause the drama from it like you're doing something to really better your life um and they're taking it in the wrong way they're taking it like something where they're pushing a you're pushing away from them and that's not really the case um and then we have Chiron reverse and the thing is Chiron's the wounded healer but with Chiron in reverse, it shows me that this wound is still very open. Whatever happened between you two, whether they pretended like they're over it or not. Sorry, guys, I'm bashing this camera. And um, the fact that it came out in reverse, this is still very open. Very open. This is something that they're still upset about and still thinking about. And they're jealous that you're moving on um, without them by your side. That's the energy that's coming through here. Um, so that is all I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoy this. Hit a thumbs up if you did. Um, comment down below if it resonated. Um, I'm sending you guys all my love and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.